Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lori, and this is Ask Dr. Lori. We are taping this live. Everything's unscripted, I don't know what's coming, and of course I've got my guest. I'm gonna do appraisals, I'm gonna teach you what to look for, I'm gonna show you how things are valued, and go from there. Hi, Dr. Lori, how you doing? You're putting your hat on. <laughs> I, I decided against the hat. Okay, uh, no hat. You, you, probably look no good. hat. you probably look good with hat, without hat, doesn't really matter. What's your name, hon? My name's Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Honolulu on a walk. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. So um, I've been all over the world. That's the one place I haven't been. So when oh I get goodness. there, I'm taking you for coffee or, I don't know, pineapple juice. What do yeah, you drink? <laughs> maybe a mix of it, right? We'll see. Yeah. Could be the new all right. thing. Nice to see you, Sophia. So yeah. have you got something to show me today? I do. So um, I have this kind of set here. Um, this is the bracelet. Um, there, that's nice. I've also got the um, set of clip-on earrings as well. Okay, I want you to go slower because people want to see what you've got. So show me the bracelet if you would, and then show me the earrings. Yeah, I'll do kind of one in one here. That's a good deal. I like that. Um, is, it, well, my, is it marked? Sorry. I like that's okay. You're fine. I like the oversized nature of these particular crystals and stones and such. So is it marked? The bracelet would be the easier place to find the mark. And when you're looking for marks, I want you to look at edges. I want you to look at clasps. I want you to look in places that you don't expect, inconspicuous cool. places, right? No markings? Nothing obvious. Okay, <laughs> nothing <laughs> obvious. Okay, all right. How did you acquire it? Um, so they're actually, well, my mom bought them in 85. She was, she's from Arizona. So in 85 in Arizona. Okay. And she bought it from um, two older sisters okay. and they were, as far as she understands, it was their mothers because one of the sisters ran out and was like, don't sell mom's jewelry. And the other sister's like, you don't wear it. Sell it to this cute little girl. So she so your it. cute little girl mother got it. Let me tell you, yeah. the large for the large forms are typical of, of course, the 1930s and 40s. So that's how far back we're going to go. And it's okay. relatively rare. Also, if you look at those clasps, the class has kind of a metal mesh underneath. Yes. That's a yeah. You see that right? All of that is what we don't typically see. Uh, you know, after, of course, 1950, because they, they find ways to make it cheaper, basically. Sure. So that's a very nice set. Now, that set, pretty valuable. So it's handed down to you. Value on the set, about $550 for that set. So that yeah. is nice. Nice. Based, based on actual sales records, those nice, chunky pieces, I love that costume jewelry, really nice. And I've got a question of the day for you, too, Sophia. Yeah. You've got uh, your choice of two board games, Monopoly or Clue. <laughs> oh, that's really hard. I think that's hard, too. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Clue just because I win that one more. <laughs> I would go with Clue, too, you know? Well, that's I, a I, always like, I like to be Colonel Mustard, you know, in the dining room with the lead pipe. <laughs> Cute. How funny, yes. A lot of fun. Awesome. So thanks so much for being with me. Don't forget, all of you can be with me. Sign up for my newsletter. It's so easy, drlaurieV.com. If you subscribe to it, it comes to you. It's under the thumbs up free right on the website. It'll come right to you when we send it out. I send it out frequently so you can, of course, learn all these other things, right? So you can get to the website and utilize that resource. It's gonna teach you all kinds of stuff of how to make money and resell stuff. Anyway, I've got guests galore. It's wonderful to see all of you. Thanks for being with me. Here's my next guest. Hi, it's oh, Dr. Lori. Oh, Hi. your gosh. <laughs> how are you? Good, good. Did I surprise you? Yes, yes. Where are you, in the garage or the basement? I'm in the garage, my workshop. Oh, your workshop. Good for you. What's your name, hon? Randy. Hi, Randy. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from just outside of Chicago. I'm in St. Charles, Illinois. Yeah. Okay. I know where you are. Great. Okay. So nice to see you. We're taping this live, of course. Show me what you want to show me. <laughs> I've got this piece here. Right. And it opens up and there's some kind of a... Uh, I don't know what this is. It's got a boat on it here, a ship. Okay. And it's all brass, I believe. And okay. It's got a mark on the bottom. All right. And it's. How did says, you acquire it? Okay. Where did I get it? I got it. Uh, I believe Goodwill. 
What? Goodwill. This is funny about guys. Now you're going to go, oh, that's not true. Women collect this, women collect that. Guys collect oddities. Guys like something. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. Right, Randy? Exactly. I have no yeah. idea what it is. But Okay. So, well, have you, I don't want you to do this, but that, that actual big thing at the bottom, you would light it. Okay. Yeah, you would light it. And then that would actually be utilized to light something else. Okay. All right. So usually we see these next to a hearth and you light it. And then of course you can go and you can light the logs. Ah. So now uh, in terms of the metal, it looks like a brass to me. Yeah. Um, and then it has a little bit of a notch opening at the top. Can you show me the top so everybody can see? Yeah. So that fits right in there. So typically yeah. it's, for the, it's for that. Now the motif of the, of the ship typically indicates that it's going to be have something to do with, of course, that kind of commerce or, you know, shipbuilding, that kind of thing. Uh, Value, okay. how much did you pay? You know, I have no idea. Maybe five bucks or something. Are you the kind of guy who won't go over 20 bucks? Are you one of those? Like, my dad would be like, no I'm, more than 20 bucks for anything. <laughs> I don't like to spend a lot when I'm at the thrift store. Right, right. And that's good. So always good to, of course, stick to your budget. Yeah. Value on your piece is about $85. Okay. And it dates to about the latter part of the 1880s, early 1890s. So it's old. Excellent. You know, Thank you Pretty so good. Much. Yeah, my pleasure. Nice to see you. Will you answer a question for me about board games? If you had your choice, Clue or Monopoly? Monopoly. Monopoly. Okay, great. Thank hey, you. Randy, will you stick around? Absolutely. Stick around a second. Let's bring okay. in somebody else. Let's see what Randy has to say. <laughs> so, Randy, you're going to help me with this next appraisal. Okay, stay with there. <laughs> Let's see who we can find. Another guest, and then we'll see what Randy has to say. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? What's your name? Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Show me what you got. In front of your face is good. Oh, okay. Some clip on earrings, rhinestones, costume jewelry, right? No, I don't think so. Okay, can you show me the back? Yeah. Okay. What do you have then? I think they're um, shoe clips. You see, can we see the back? Yeah, right here. They are shoe clips, but you've lost the, uh, can you open the clip? You've no. lost the clip. Yeah, you lost the clip. Okay, oh, there it is, there you go. Yeah, shoe clips, okay. Now, Randy's gonna come in, who we just did an appraisal with. Let's see if he knows what they are. <laughs> Hold on, hi hey, Randy. Well, you know what? <laughs> I heard everything that was said. So. I know. Oh. Do, you think they're, do you think they're shoe clips? Um, no, they look like something other than a shoe clip. They like, looked like earrings, didn't they? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. So how did you acquire them, hon? Um, I, a thrift store. You got them at a thrift store. How much did you pay for them? Uh, I paid one, $1 each. Hey, Randy, would you pay $2 for those? I would. I wouldn't. Yeah. No? No. You know okay. why? I can't resell them that easily. You uh, know why? People have to know what it is. Right, right. <laughs> they don't want to do this, ooh, we're not sure stuff. The object that you have, they'll do the, oh, we're not sure stuff. But those kinds of pieces, you expect it to be something else, so you want it to be something else. Value on your pair, five bucks. And Monopoly or Clue to you? Which is your better board game for you? Clue. Clue. Hey, Randy, thanks for helping out as my sidekick appraiser. See ya. Thank you very much. Right. Have a good one. Have a good one. That was fun. Yeah, so lots of things. You know, it's funny because he didn't realize that I knew he was listening. But what's funny about those pieces is people want to know. They don't want to be confused. And when you're listing pieces, reselling tip, when you're listing pieces, you've got to make sure that you paint the picture for the potential buyer, that you explain what you're sell trying to sell to them, that you know what it is, the era, of course, time period, of course, materials. You've got to know all of that kind of information. If you can get the maker's mark. Shoe clips, because we don't use shoe clips, don't really all sell all that well. And if they expect it to be earrings when they first look at it, you're hoping that you're selling earrings, but very, very good. And I, Randy was a good, you know, sidekick appraiser. I appreciate that. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori. We're taping this live. Here's my next guest. Oh. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Joanne Hi. from Maryland. Hi, Joanne. Nice to see you, hon. Nice to so, see you. Too. Thanks for being with me. What do you want to show me today? So I have oh, this. Pretty. 
Yeah. Um, Beautiful. It, yeah, this belonged to my husband's grandmother, oh, um, who was, she was a mail order bride from Japan. Oh, and interesting. She, yeah, she didn't bring this from Japan. It's It was bought here. Each one of these is like a little box, and there's four of them all together. And black lacquer with red lacquer interior exactly. are, are usually are usually pieces that are made in Tokyo. You usually oh, see, though, coming out of the tradition of the Edo period, and, of course, there's Mount Fuji, and usually they have some floral blossoms on it or a mm -hmm. landscape idea on it. Yeah. But you go ahead. So there's four of them, and then you have the base as well. Exactly. And okay. there's a little handle. And according to my father-in-law, who has passed away a few years ago, when he was a child, he was born in 1928, I think, um, they used to take this on picnics. She would take this on picnics. But this, it, I don't think she brought it from Japan because the bottom says made in Japan. Right. So then it was export. Maybe she saw it when she was here and said, oh, it reminds me of home and I want it. It's fine. Yeah. Um, it's a nice piece. And if it says made in Japan, of course, that it has to date the early period of the 20th century. So it's a very nice piece. Is it 12 inches tall? Oh, yeah. I'd say it's more like 15 inches tall. More 15 inches tall. Yeah. So today, the black and red lacquer with the hand painting from Japan, early 20th century, value on it about $175 retail. Okay. Very it's, it's nice. It's something we're keeping, but I was yeah. just curious about it. Well, it's, that's exactly what we do. It's always good to know when people are downsizing or you want to be fair to the kids or the grandkids. You want to know what things are worth. A lot of folks, of course, appreciate my appraisals here for that reason. But anyway, and then I've got a question of the day for you too. It's always nice to have something that grandma would, thought was important. You know, those memories are important. Yeah. Um, board yeah. games. Clue or Monopoly? Which would you choose? I got to tell you, it's Clue all the way. Monopoly, oh. dri Monopoly drives me crazy because it goes on and on and on forever. It never ends. So right, 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 right. Clue. I know. You know, when I play Monopoly, I'm kind of happy if I go to jail because I'm like, okay, we can stop this a little <laughs> while, you know? Exactly, exactly. You know, I don't know. And then I'm not a big tycoon about real estate. Oh, the <laughs> hotels and this. I have one sister who would love that, but not me. <laughs> anyway, nice to see you. Thanks for being with me. Thank you. Thank Thank you. My pleasure. And if you don't, if you want to get an appraisal and you want to talk to me, but you don't want to do it here on the live stream, you can do a video call. Video calls are one of the most popular services that I offer, which of course is where you can talk to me. Dr. Lori, I don't understand what this piece is. Dr. Lori, I need an appraisal. Dr. Lori, we're trying to understand what we should sell where. How can you guide me? All of those things happen on video calls. They're long or they're short. It's up to you. Where do you find it? DrLoriV.com. I've got my guests. We've got some great objects that we're looking at. And of course, here's my next one. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi. So if can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. What's your name? My name's Laura. Where are you calling from, Laura? New Kent, Virginia. Hey, Laura, behind you are all of these sort of like, like geometric sort of um, kaleidoscope almost images. Those are nice. Did you make those? Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, wow. Actually, I did my mother and grandmother. Oh, that's great. Those are really cool. I love the geometry of them. It looks nice. They're, also, um, salon style, the way in which they are put in, in museums, it was called salon style. All of them on the same wall, close together. What were you going to say? Oh, this is a traditional Samoan art. It's um, Samoan Seattle. And my grandmother was a master artist. I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. You're telling us information that we couldn't get unless we talked to you. Thank you for calling in. Do you, yeah, have, an object so you, do you have an object you I want do. me to look at? Um, there we go. It's oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. All right. It's this ring here. It's 14 karat. It has a star with a S in it. Yes. And it's yes. opal, diamond, pink, and black coral. Pink and black coral. Okay. So pink, star. black coral. The opals look like they are, in fact, just stay it, hold it still for me. Yeah. Okay. I'm the sorry. opals look like they are a very high, very high quality. Was this your mother's or grandmother's ring? Is this ring a vintage ring? It seems like the design would be. Yes. Okay. So this particular ring, I'm going to put to the middle years of the 20th century, between 1930 and 1960, somewhere in that neck of the woods. Oh. I would say okay. for, it's marked 14 karat gold. Yes. 
Uh, opal ring, diamonds, not a lot of diamonds, maybe a total carat weight of one carat total diamonds. And then you've got black coral and, and of course, um, the other coral, the red coral. I would say value on that, or pink coral, excuse me. I would say value on that's going to be pretty high, probably somewhere between $950 and $1,000. Do you wear it? I do. Okay. I worn it since I was 18. <laughs> good for you. Put it, on your, put it on your hand and enjoy it. A couple of different things about this. This is why the numbers are high. First of all, the rarity of, of course, the different corals. Diamonds always pump it up. And the setting alone is worth probably about $400. So just the gold is going to start you off at almost half of the value. So very, nice. very nice. Hey, you enjoy it and keep wearing it. Don't take Thank it you. off. If you wash your hands with it, that's okay. And make sure you have the prongs checked once a year by a professional jeweler to make sure none of those are loose. Okay. Okay. Uh, a question of the day for you, if you don't mind. Monopoly or Clue, your favorite board game? Uh, I would say Monopoly. Monopoly. Okay. Okay. All right. See you later. Thanks so much. Thank you. My Bye -bye. pleasure. That was fun. We saw some art on the wall, too, and a little museum tip, too, about different types of interior decoration ideas. Salon style is always a lot of fun. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori. We're taping this live right now. And of course, don't forget my guests are here. They're showing me their objects and I'm appraising them free right here. Hi, how are you? It looks like it's Justin from Tampa. Right on the money every time. Am I close? Am I close? Okay. Right I, maybe, maybe I revealed too much. I'm sorry. No, you're <laughs> fine. You're fine. You're fine. How are you, honey? What's happening? Well, I'm doing good. Um, good. I was on some of these Goodwill uh, auction sites, looking up art and different things, and I kind of ran through, but uh, ran out of art. So I decided I was going to look at some of the jewelry because you know you're good. like talking about jewelry, you're talking all these other stuff. And I watched some of your videos. Some of my I, videos, you got to use the binge link, Justin. Come on. You so it's funny you say because I was using the binge link, and you have a particular video that's about uh, four men. Or it makes it seem as for men on finding like how the jewels setting or the, the gem oh. set into it and all the other stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I was going through it and I found one that kind of like hit all of those on the head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Show me. I got you. I got you. You got me. Let's see. So you bought this. I like this. <laughs> you bought this at Goodwill Online. Is it marked sterling silver on the inside or 925? It's marked S T E R and Good. I blew up. The, there you go. Organized. This yeah. is what I like. Organized. So, yeah, really <laughs> okay. bad anxiety. So no, that's okay. You're not anxiety. Nothing to be anxious about. All right. And you've got a and you've actually got a pict a pictogram mark. Do you see the yes. little the little triangle mark with the B? It's the um you discussed it in one of your videos. Exactly. It's it looks like a pair of scissors with two hooks that come over it. Because okay. I was like, it looks like two A's, and I'm like. No, she said in one of her videos, it's more than that. It's the, and I looked at it and seen it. So you, you've got the background for the Native Americans for the mark. Now you also have a, um, a, a stone there, which looks like an aquamarine. Did you have it tested? Did you get the gem have, tester? That's, I bought your loop. I bought all of your other stuff. The okay. gem tester is next on, on my order. Yeah, the net, when you have time, get the Presidium gem tester. Yes, you can get it on our specials and shop page. Yes, I get a, a small compensation for these particular purchases. But if that's a real aquamarine, we're talking $700, $750 or so. What'd you pay? $30. Yeah, yeah. $30. Now, Justin, if you follow what I say, right? Mm -hmm. If you follow what I say, you can apply what I say to what you're looking for when you're shopping. Is that true? Every, every, everything, even our one-on-one -on -one conversations, you go a little bit, a little bit more than you do your videos. As long as you just listen and watch the videos, like I found an actual really amazing piece, but you're not doing frames today. So I had to scramble for something that I haven't looked up. So I found the. Okay. The, so when you're watching the videos and you're saying to yourself, she's going to actually lay it out for me. All I have to do is listen to the video and go and shop and I'm going to find it. Does that happen for you? Literally, I play your videos on repeat, and I, I, whether I'm doing schoolwork or I'm doing something else, I'll catch something like it's valued at seven hundred dollars. You're like, wait, rewind. What was it that she? Okay, cool. This look for this. Look you, for can, this. you can just follow along, right? So you I'm so glad, I'm so glad you did. 
750 bucks for that. That's beautiful. It does look like an aquamarine. And of course, I've seen so many stones that you can identify them that way. But I want to see the your buyer, your potential buyer is going to want to see the Presidium Gem Tester say, yeah, it's an aquamarine. Okay. I don't okay. think it's a blue topaz. It looks more like an aquamarine to me. But those really, are the yeah, really clear. Really clear. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And uh, question of the day, Monopoly or Clue if you're playing board games? Monopoly divides houses. I'm going Clue all day. <laughs> so murderers don't, right? <laughs> hey, listen here. What, you know, that, that can bring a family together. Monopoly That's right. divides That's right. every time. <laughs> right. Detectives bring families together. All right. I like it. Nice to see you, hon. Take care of yourself. Congratulations. You. Jewelry, you jewelry, jewelry. I've been telling you. Why? Easy to ship. Easy to source. Look for the marks. The marks are at drlorev.com. I gave them to you. I also gave them to you on the videos. Just what Justin said. All you got to do is watch and apply the rules. I give you all the rules. Keys to the castle. I'm giving them to you. Do it. Watch the binge link. The binge link is cool because it'll show you the most recent videos first and you'll go through each one. And you can play it and play it over. You know what? It will all sink in. Um, you know, I don't know. I think it's a good way to actually learn all of it. Don't forget about video calls. If you want to do a video call and you want to talk one-on-one, -on -one, you can do that too. Uh, Justin mentioned that and that's that you can do at any time. My next guest. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. So what's your first name? My name is Silvana. Hi, Silvana. Um, where are you today? What part of the world? We are neighbors. I'm in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yay. I love New England. I love New England. Yeah. So nice to see you. How can I help you today? What have you got? Um, I have this. You have that. The good sport. Okay. And is it signed Wasserman? Who's it signed by? It's Jack Davis. Oh, Jack Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Jack Davis and Wasserman and a lot of those 1970s, 1980s illustrators mm -hmm. um, doing wonderful work. Uh, a lot of them work for the newspapers, the big newspapers, and then they also do these kinds of things. Um, how yeah. did you acquire that piece? We'll call it a cartoon, uh, but it's really a, a drawing. Yeah, I acquired it at a, a thrift shop. Uh, I'm sorry, an antique mall. Okay. And actually, it caught my eye because I like the frame. I like oh. to do some crafts. And Please then... Show us the frame. Show us what you like. Sure. 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 Um, yeah. And then I, like I, saw, I saw the art, and um, I, I liked it a lot, and I started researching. Okay. But, of course, I came to the expert now. Um, I saw that it, the, the price varies, and um, it got me excited varies. a little bit, yeah. So the prices vary. So you've seen somebody mm -hmm. listed at this and somebody sell it at that, all different numbers, right? So then yeah. when you really want to know the truth, this is what happens. They go, I got to go to Dr. Lori because all these other people, yeah. I don't know what their background is. I don't know if they have any idea if they're right or not. I don't know if they're smart sellers. I don't know if they're trying to inflate the market Correct. and it never sells for that. So thank you for realizing that the expertise can help you. How big is it? Correct. Is it 12 by 10? Uh, 12 by 10 probably. I don't okay. have the exact measures. Uh, okay. But what I liked about it is that it's adorned with watch, uh, like wristwatch. Um, yes. Pieces. Uh, what do you call it? pieces? Yes. Pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the gears and such of the wristwatches yeah. are acting mm -hmm. in the collage. So everybody mm -hmm. would initially see it that way. Can we see the object again so everybody can see those sure. pieces? One second. I, know. I lost Keep my earpiece, up. but yes. That's okay. I'm sorry about your earpiece. So That's everybody okay. can see. So for, for example, you know, you can see the gears there. It's a wonderful piece and quintessential and typical of the artist's mature and characteristic style. This is very important that it looks like what people know the artist to make, the kind of art the artist mm -hmm. is known to make. Yes. That's what's important. Value on the piece, about $500. How much did you pay? 10. 10! I like it. <laughs> I like it. That includes yeah. the frame, and the frame is probably worth about $75 of the 500. Perfect. Thank you very much, Dr. Lordy. My pleasure. Appreciate Based it. on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold recently, all right, at the time Thank of you. this particular taping. You're very welcome, honey. Uh, tell me, uh, board games, question of the day, Monopoly or Clue? I like to win, Monopoly. I like to win. I like to win. I want hotels, <laughs> Monopoly. Nice yeah. to see you. Nice to see you. Same here. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Good to see you. That was a lot of fun. 
That was a lot of fun. I've got guests. I'm Dr. Lori. Of course, we're doing appraisals. I'm teaching you what to look for. With a piece like that, what should she have looked for? She looks for a characteristic image by that artist, right? So you have to know a little bit about the artist. She's looking for the signature. The signature is going to have some impact in this one, in this particular work. And the frame. The frame should be the same era frame or period, time period frame as the work of art. When they're the same, value goes up a little bit more. If it had been an earlier frame or a later frame on that work of art, then of course you start to have not as much value. So remember that you want to look for things that look like they're a unit or a set, a frame with a typical period work of art. Here's my next guest. Oh, hi, Dr. Laurie. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Good, good. Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, Vic from Tampa. Hi, Vic. What's happening? Have you um, got a woodworking shop there? Are you a woodworker? Is that what's behind no, you? No, no. I collect German shepherds. You do, just any German shepherd? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're um, very smart dogs, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, How long have you been collecting German shepherds? Like all different types, like wood or ceramic or painting? No, mostly ceramic, um, bronze. Oh, ceramic or bronze. So sculptures of German shepherds. Yeah, and I have um, two bronze German shepherds here. Let's see. Do you, own, do you own actual real live German Shepherds? No, I just collect them. Ah, cool. All right. So let's see. Oh, that's nice. So that looks like a piece um, of bronze. Unfortunately, um, funny story is I bought this for $180, but right. they came damaged. Okay. As you see, there's a crack here. Yeah, I see that. I have, an, I have another one, a pair. They're book, they're bookends. Yes. And the other one the ear broke off oh, here. God. <laughs> so All what right. the, the seller did he gave me a refund just for the shipping okay so i want to pay 25 dollars. okay so you have them and you like it they fit with your collection but they are damaged yeah so i was wondering okay. what's the the value um undamaged and damaged because i was thinking about me selling these and buying the undamaged ones okay well the dam the undamaged ones here's a couple of things I'd have to see one that's undamaged, but you know, okay. the market will bear about $200 for them undamaged. Here's the mm -hmm. problem with that. I don't know how good they are undamaged because this one's damaged. It's kind of like right. you're asking me to look at this pie and, and assess this pie, and then you want me to assess a pie that's in somebody else's oven. Okay. So you don't have it. You don't have the whole, the whole thing. But this piece, now that mm -hmm. it's damaged, this set, yeah. you get one value for the set, worth about 50 bucks. So you, 50, still wow. only, so you still only paid about half price. Right. So they're cast metal, they're patinated, they look like they're rather heavy. It's rather unusual for, of course, them to be solid bronze. Right, right. it's not but solid cast, bronze. Yeah, they're yeah. not solid bronze, but the casting looks pretty nice. And I have to say that the animalier, which is the term in French sculpture for animal sculptures of the late 19th mm. century, the way that that particular piece is sculpted before it gets cast with the metal is really quite fine. So I do think it would have been a little bit higher than the 180 that you paid if they came to you in good condition. Okay. Does that make sense? Right. Okay, okay. So nice, I'm sorry that you had the problems, but you know, at least the uh, seller tried to work it out with you. And every time you add something similar to your collection, you increase the value a little bit of your whole collection. Should I so, try to glue them back on or? Do you have it? Do you I have, have it? it? Yeah. I would ask a restorer how to whether or not you can do it that way. Some people feel comfortable gluing it back on. If you mm -hmm. feel like, okay, it's good and I can live with it, then that's yeah. okay. But yeah. if you're going to resell it, I want you to talk to a restorer. That's only okay. fair to your potential okay. buyer. And uh, question of the day for me, Vic, uh, Monopoly or Clue, board it's game? It's going to be Clue because Monopoly just takes way too long. Monopoly um, takes too long. None of, everybody <laughs> wants a quick board game. Nice to meet yeah. you. Right. Thanks so much for being with me. All right. Thank you. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori. See you next time.